Mendelssohn Scherzo is probably the most often asked excerpt in auditions. Uh, I know in my experience, it's the one that gets asked more than any other. Sometimes three different rounds in the same audition. Sometimes you have to play it more than once in a single round. It's the excerpt that always gets asked. It's vitally important to get this excerpt as controlled and consistent as possible. One of the important things about this excerpt, I think, is, is not so much the speed, but the sound that you get behind the articulation. That's what's difficult about this excerpt. I try to practice what I call the seven C's of Mendelssohn Scherzo. So I'm going to just discuss what those seven C's are. They're attributes about the excerpt that I really shoot for getting as good as possible when I'm preparing for an audition. The first C is clarity. To me, it's as much about the sound as it is about the articulation. The sound has to be good behind the articulation. Otherwise, it doesn't matter how fast you play this excerpt, it's not going to sound good. So the clarity of the tone, the focus of the sound, all of these things are really very important. And I think you have to have enough air blowing into the instrument to really get that kind of sound. Otherwise, we lose clarity in the sound. So even at a piano dynamic, a lot of focus, a lot of drive in the air to get this kind of clarity in the sound. The second C is cleanliness. All of this technique and articulation has to be clean. If it's sloppy, again, it's just not going to sound good. So we really have to go for the cleanliness of the technique, of the articulation, everything. It has to be crystal clear and very clean. The third C is crispness. We want that articulation to be crisp. We want it to pop. It's a scherzo. We need life in that articulation and we need the crispness. And I think, again, that comes from the air and it comes from not playing this uh, too short in the staccato. At a fast tempo, even a very light tongue, it's going to sound crisp. It's going to sound short. If I try to make the articulation really short, it becomes pecky. Whereas if I just go for a light tongue, not trying to play it super short, but just trying to get the articulation really consistent, really clean, really light, it sounds much better. The fourth C is control. One of the most important aspects of this excerpt in terms of auditions is showing that you have control over the instrument and that the instrument does not have control over you. We're always looking for candidates who have the utmost control of their instrument and this excerpt is paramount in showing control of tone, of articulation, a steady tempo. We want control and Showing control also shows that you've got experience. It's a great attribute to go for in auditions. The fifth C is consistency. And this is so important in auditions. And I, I think of consistency not just of from day to day, week to week, getting this excerpt to be really good and really consistent, but within the excerpt itself. We want consistency of tone throughout the registers. We want even technique. We want consistency in articulation. And it's so important because having that consistency shows a lot of that control you have over the instrument. And it's super, super important in this excerpt especially with so much articulation. The sixth C is confidence. You have to have a certain amount of confidence when playing this excerpt, especially when you're auditioning for a principal position. Confidence is something we want to hear when we're listening to candidates. If you play timidly and you don't have confidence, it's going to come across to the committee that this is a timid player. We need that confidence to just go for it. Whatever speed you're taking it, just really going for it, laying it down. The last C is character. 
as we're doing a lot of practicing on this, a lot of repetitive practicing, and we're thinking about all these other attributes to this excerpt, it's easy to forget that this is a scherzo. The Mendelssohn scherzo from A Midsummer Night's Dream. It's a Shakespeare comedy. And we need to keep that scherzando feeling, that musical joke, that lightness. We need to keep that in terms of musicality so that this comes across as light, a scherzo, and it doesn't become heavy or plodding. So to me, all seven of these seeds are very important to this excerpt. I try to get every one of them in order as I'm preparing for an audition. It's certainly not easy, but I think if we get all seven of them, we can really get a, a very good Mendelssohn scherzo. One more thing, the trills at the end of this excerpt, they're not easy. But for the F to G trill, the normal trill, for me it's very difficult. I, don't, I can't get good leverage on this trill. So for me, I uh, do a little cheating over here. For me, I can get the leverage a little bit easier this way and trill a little bit better. Then you just have to make sure you get back down in time for those other trills. And if you really want to impress your friends at a party, try it this way.